good morning and welcome back to my channel make sure that you like and subscribe and uh, thank you for joining me for morning devotions today as you can see I'm outside it's a nice beautiful mild soft morning in the spring thank goodness it's not freezing and everything's covered with wetness and dew because of the rain so I thought, yay, I'm going outside. You can hear my wind chimes going. There's old Clem in the background. My begonia's back here. And I'm not even gonna show you what this little setup looks like because I wanted the prettiest background and old Clem is showing off this year. I've never seen my clematis that bloomy, that <laughs> filled with blossoms. It just makes me smile every time I see it. Get your coffee, tea, or whatever it is you enjoy drinking. Of course, today is Tuesday. Is that right? Wednesday. Goodness gracious. Wednesday, April 28th. Sorry for the traffic noises. We're taking our devotions from the Daily Prophecy by uh, Brenda Kuhneman, and I will have a website linked below so you can get your own copy if you want. I love the way this is set up because we have a prophetic word, a prophetic scripture, some insight, and a prayer. And that really kind of helps me start my day. So let's see what today's devotion is about. It's entitled, Your Heart is Strong. I declare that your heart is strong. The Spirit says, I fix your heart. I heal your heart. And I make it strong and stable. With every beat, my glory is empowering your heart. Thank you, Lord. I received that. Our prophetic scripture comes from Psalm 31, 24. It says, Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all you that hope in the Lord. That is so good to know, and that's really where we need to draw our strength, is from the Lord. In every circumstance, he is safe to trust, and it's impossible for him to lie. If he says he strengthens you, he will. Let's hear what Brenda expounds on today. Physical heart conditions are a worldwide problem and are a clear sign of a spiritual root problem. Wow. I sometimes forget that things in the spirit can manifest in the physical, and that's not to say that every physical ailment people deal with have a spiritual root to it, but People's hearts are having trouble standing up under the stress of modern living. That's in Luke 21, 26. The human heart is the center, is the life center of the body, and your natural heart and spiritual heart are uniquely intertwined. Of course, while things like eating right and exercise are important for having a healthy physical heart, the condition of your spiritual heart also directly affects the health of your physical heart. Let that sink in. Among the medical recommendations for having a healthy heart is the need for some form of emotional or spiritual wholeness. Scientists realize that your emotional state, or you could say the condition of your spiritual heart, greatly affects the stress level on your natural heart. And of course, when we safely trust in the Lord, we release all fears and concerns to him because we know he's faithful. That does make sense. As believers, we can tap into God's ability to strengthen our natural hearts and thereby causing our physical hearts to be strong and healthy. Psalm 31, 24 reminds us to be of good courage and to hope in the Lord. This means instead of doing what most of the world does by getting worked up over the stresses of this modern age, we can take a deep breath and rest in the mighty God we serve. Relax in the Lord today and let him strengthen your heart. Feel your heartbeat right now and declare your heart to be both spiritually and physically strong. That does give me great encouragement. I oh, feel that nice breeze. Thank you, Jesus. 
that does give me encouragement because the word is filled with all kinds of passages like Psalm 31 24 that talks about the Lord strengthening our heart strengthening our spirit and when we know and believe his word to be true I mean if I were to take this highlighter throw it up in the air I have 100% confidence it's gonna come right back down it's not gonna be lost and float away from me that's the kind of confidence this is the law of gravity it came right back down it's right over here the law of gravity as much as we believe that it will come to pass I throw this up it's coming right back down that is the kind of certainty that we need to have in God and his ability to do what he said he's gonna do in his word even if it makes no sense to us even if the natural world tells us that, that it's an impossibility God said in his word he would do it and so I pray for you today that the Lord would help you to have that revelation of his goodness Hebrews 6 18 and I'm gonna say it again and again and again it's impossible for God to lie it's impossible he's not like us he doesn't pull a fast one or say something he doesn't mean he does it he doesn't fail he cannot fail he cannot lie so let's say the prayer today dear Lord I have a strong heart today I declare that I rest in you regarding all that concerns me let your power touch my heart both spiritually and physically with strength and healing in Jesus name amen and I'm gonna say an additional prayer myself for those of you who may be dealing with physical heart problems father in the name of Jesus we release healing into the physical hearts of those who may be hearing this whether they have congenital heart diseases whether their condition is inherited whether their heart has experienced damage through accident or disease we ask right now that you do a creative miracle touch every chamber every valve the rhythm of that heart father God the strength of the muscles the flow of the blood the components of the blood every part of that circulatory system we command it to be strengthened and come into alignment with your original design and father we give you the glory as we look with expectation father God as doctors have to document miracles as doctors have to reduce medications as doctors have to remove medications we give you the glory and even though, Lord God, it seems impossible, we know all things are possible with you. You said in 1 Peter 2, 24, by his stripes, we have been healed and we receive that healing from that covenant in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you again for spending a little time with me today. Once again, make sure that you like and subscribe. I look forward to many more mornings that aren't so windy but it's really a nice, mild, soft spring morning. I hope you enjoyed old Clem and my begonias back here. I'll try to move around the garden this summer to see what else is coming up. But thank you again. God bless you and you have a wonderful day. Bye until next time.